Dragons had a spring in their step coming into this game, having beaten local rival Scarlets last time out. But they hadn't won away to Munster since 2004 and hadn't won in Ireland in almost five years. Munster were looking for a response to the defeat away to Treviso in the previous round. Keith Earl switched to the centre and the imposing figure of Paul O'Connell started on the bench on his comeback after suffering a broken arm with the Lions during the summer. The match was a bit slow to get going early on. JJ Hanrahan kicked a penalty for Munster to leave them 3-0 up after seven minutes. But within a couple of minutes at the other end, Chris Burton in for Jason Tovey leveled the scores. It was tit for tat as Hanrahan and Burton exchanged penalties for 6 all. And that was until the 35th minute when Dragons were authors of their own misfortune. They turned the ball over from their own line out. Munster looked dangerous over the next couple of phases of play with Dragons holding out until the ball reached prop James Cronin. The Corkman scored a try on the opening day of the season against Edinburgh and he bullocked his way over for the first try of the evening, just about getting the touchdown under pressure from the Dragons' defence. It was a score that Munster deserved and when Hanrahan converted, it left Rob Penny's side with a 13-6 half-time lead. Early into the second period, Burton reduced the margin to four points with another successful kick, 13-9. Dragons were then reduced to 14 men temporarily when Andrew Coombs was sent to the bin for dangerous play, stamping on Damien Varley's shoulder. The crowd were looking for red, but with the assistance of the TMO, the referee Neil Patterson settled on yellow. The news got worse for Dragons almost straight away when number six, Jevon Groves, saw yellow for deliberately collapsing the mall as Munster pressed the Welsh side's line. With the visitors down to 13, Munster punished them, with Peter O'Mahony selling a nice little dummy before pushing over for the try. With the two Dragons bin men looking on, Hanrahan put the conversion over for 20 points to 9, and it was looking like plain sailing for the home team. Hanrahan went through his usual pre-kick routine before landing another penalty in the 62nd minute to extend Munster's lead to 23-9. Dragons launched a number of late assaults in search of a losing bonus, but the Munster defence was resolute and held off the waves of Welsh attacks. Monster coach Rob Penny will be delighted his side no kept Dragons trialless. No, stay out. As the full time whistle sounded, Monster could celebrate a third win of the season. And the fans are thrilled that Paul O'Connell is back donning the red jersey once again, especially with Leinster to come next at Thoman Park. At Musgrave Park, it finished Monster 23, Newport Gwent Dragons 9.